welcome to the Zazu Podcast. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Caroline and I'm coming to you from the Netherlands, Utrecht. Um, and this is my podcast. Um, so, uh, for everyone who's been following me, my plan was on podcasting bi-weekly. Um, so, <laughs> my last podcast was, I don't know how long ago, but it was long ago. Um, I've been so busy with a lot of stuff. Um, for one, I cut my hair. <laughs> and it looks so stupid. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Um, because I had this really long hair and I saw my podcast where every time I just had this braid going on on one side... Um, and I was like, okay, ha I have to do something about this hair. Um, so then I went to the hairdresser and I just said, just cut it off, you know. And he was like this really enthusiastic guy who was like, oh my god, no, you can't do that. You have such great long hair, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, but it will grow back right. So just do it. Uh, and then he did it and like, and every time... I don't know if if you guys have this, but every time I come from the hairdresser, they, you know, blow dry and do their thing, and it looks great. <laughs> and then you wash your hair, and you're like, okay, let's see how this, you know, dries up naturally. It never dries up great. It's always, I always look like a mess. I always look like I'm turning my hat in some kind of mob so um i tried a lot with the hair i had then uh but it just didn't work um that also might have something to do with the fact that i don't have a blow dryer um so <laughs> i might just have to get one um i do have a straightening iron thing though so I used that uh, didn't really work either so and to be honest I'm not really the type of person that likes to get up like 30 minutes earlier just to do my stupid hair um, I think it's a waste of time so um, when we went to Italy because we went to Italy totally different story but whatever I'm just going to ramble on for about five to ten minutes, so you so you know. Um, I thought, why not go to the hairdresser here? So I did that, um, and she made it a lot better. Uh, although I still just the thing is, <laughs> I don't like hair in my face whenever I'm knitting, for instance, or working. I just can't handle it. Um, so the that's why the ponytail is here. So that was my super interesting story about my hair. Um, another thing, you probably never saw me with glasses, but I always wear glasses because otherwise I don't really see a thing. Um, so if you are someone that once waved to me from a distance uh, and I didn't wave back, that's because I don't see you. Um, <laughs> And not because I don't want to wave back. Um, next to that, I we've been to Italy um, for vacation, but I've been really sick there, so uh, that was not really what I expected. And uh, next to that, I'm starting in a a new job in October, uh, which is great, also for you guys. Because, and this is what I was going for, <coughs> um, because I'm going to be off one day every two weeks, which means that that is the perfect day to podcast. Um, so I'm just going to make that the regular podcasting day, so I will be able to podcast bi-weekly, yay! 
Um, or not yay if you don't like my face, but then you shouldn't be watching this video anyway. So I'm going to take a sip of my tea. This is, by the way, just a super simple cup from Ikea, but they're really big and really nice. And I was thinking about um, painting this or, you know, decorating, whatever. Um, so once I do that, I will show you like next time or whenever. Okay, so I am not sure where I should start. Uh, first thing, first, like, I don't know, words, I don't, I can't find my words, whatever. The first big thing coming up is the fact that I'm going to reopen my shop and I won't only have yarn, no, I've also been <laughs> sewing. Sewing? Are you sewing now? What is the deal? Yes, I'm sewing. Uh, but you hated sewing. Yes, I hated sewing. But I found out it was all because of my sewing machine. So I bought a new one. So I'm just going to show you my new sewing machine because why not? So it's pretty heavy. I bought this one. Hey. <laughs> um, and I really like it. It's a Singer Heavy Duty, which means it can go through thick layers of jeans and stuff like that without jamming and you know zippers and triple layers of fabrics stuff like that it just works great so if you don't like sewing because you hate your sewing machine buy a new one um but the reason i'm showing you this i'm i'm probably not really going to make clothes and stuff like that because I don't think it'll really look good. Uh, I might try though. Um, the reason I'm showing you this, and I'm not sure whether I'm tossing the camera around, is the fact that I'm going to have these guys in the shop. Um, when I reopen the shop, I will probably not have them regularly because it just takes a stupid amount of time to make them. However, um, I thought having, you know, like a somewhat bigger opening and, you know, having some extra nice stuff for everyone who've been waiting like a year for me to come back uh, to have some nice stuff. So I uh, made these project bags um, and they're lined. Oh, yes. Um, and they're like this old pinky, um, with birds. I don't know how you call these birds. Um, and then, uh, like a canvas bottom. Uh, and, um, it has, what do you call that? I know. I don't know. I, I'm losing all my words and no, I'm not pregnant. Uh, so I don't know what's happening. Um, this stuff you iron on to make the fabric a little bit thicker. It has it. So I know. Um, and I have this one and I have a lot of other ones, but I still have to know they're totally ready to sew, uh, but I still have to sew them. And the idea was to all sew them in Italy. But since I got sick, I um, have to do it here. Um, so yay. Um, so that is coming up. Um, obviously I'm going to dye yarn and I will also have, uh, I will also bring back my uh, DK or Aaron weight, my thicker weight 
Um, but I still have to wait for the yarn to arrive to be able to dye it. Um, but since I um, arranged two weeks off for myself in between jobs, super smart, um, I'm going to do that then. Although my super sweet boyfriend decided to go on a holiday with a friend of his to go diving, uh, so I have to take care of Philip all by myself. So I'm not sure <laughs> whether um, or not I'm going to have a lot of free time, but hey, that's life. Um, then, of course, I'm just going to start talking about my knitting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's with me today, okay? So if I'm being weird, that's just my inner weirdness coming out. Um, so, to like start off with something, I all showed you this hat. Um, it's been tested now, so I am going to um, make the changes in the pattern uh, that my tester has found. Super good test knitting, guys. Um, and take some photos and I will probably release it in about a week. So, um, I, my, the, the, the idea is that next time I podcast, this hat will be released. Um, so yay, because the colder weather is coming. Then I have something super exciting, so I'm I'm not going to hold off and just show you because it's a um what do you call it? Never mind. It's an FO. I wanted to say it's an FO, uh, but it's also a new design. So I'm going to take it, and you've seen this once, like when it was really small, but it's done. And it's this shawl. And it's super big, so I can't really show you. It's w wider than my wingspan. Um, so this is knit out of my <clears throat> own hand dye yarn. Um, this is the Oasis colorway and this is a neutral colorway. Um, so yeah, um, what can I tell you? It's a triangular uh, shawl and it has fringe because I like fringe. Um, it's garter stitch with eyelets like you can see. Like in every, um, in every speckled green part, it has eyelets uh, in the top three. And then in the white part, it has a, um, yeah, some, some kind of structure stitch. So I'm going to show you, and I hope you can see it's these some kind of line thing um, and if you lay it flat you can see the difference in you know you can see that and then um, at the bottom there are nups I think you call them which are totally cute and then there is there are small eyelets in the neutral colorway, and that's where you add the fringe. So I'm super excited because you know it's a really nice shawl. I really like it. So this is what it looks like, and um, <laughs> I really like it. It's really it's it's warm. It's Big, you know, I like shawls that aren't aren't just fun to wear, like, um, you know, 
as an as a color accessory, but actually do something for you when you're cold. Um, so yay. Um, and I still have to name it. I still have to um, write down what I did. You know the pattern. <laughs> um, however, obviously. I'm looking for test knitters, so uh, if you want to test knit this shawl, uh, please let me know um, through Ravelry. Uh, don't post it down the video because I will not be able to track you down. So um, let me know through Ravelry, just a short message, hey I want to, you know, test knit. And if there are a lot of test knitters, I will just draw a few people. Um, and if not, then, you know, everyone that applies will be able to test it. Um, so I would really appreciate it. Uh, and you'll have enough time to test it. Um, I, I, anyway, I think this is a pretty quick knit. Um, but you'll, I'll just, I'll give you guys enough time, like one and a half months or so that that should be sufficient, right? Um, so that's a really interesting or really exciting FO. Um, I don't know why, why I'm doing this stupid thing with my thumb, but okay. I already told you guys, bear with me today. Um, then I've been knitting on some other stuff uh, in my own Zazu Yarns bag. Um, that does not have a handle because it was the, how you call it, the test bag, uh, so I keep it for myself, um, is a sweater for Philip. Um, and I've designed it myself, so it's probably going to be a new pattern, although I'm not rushing this one, so it might take a while, uh, especially because I have to figure out all the different sizes. Um, but this is what I have so far. Um, yeah. It's just, I really like the cabling. I just made something up and it worked. Um, I don't know if you can see this really well, but... And it's just top down. Um, yeah. And it's made out of my own hand dyed yarn in the uh, Lagoon colorway. Um, which is this stuff. And since I took it to Italy, the cake is like fla da 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 um, I always admire, and I've already <laughs> said this quite a few times, I always admire those knitters who have perfect cakes, you know? I never have perfect cakes, not even when they come off the ball, ball winder. It's just not happening. Um, but, so, I, I'm knitting on the body right now. Um, and, you know, when I finish that, I will knit the sleeves, and then you can wear it. Uh, so I do have to make a little bit of progress because if I wait too long, he'll not be able to wear this anymore because he's growing super fast. Um, which actually uh, takes me to uh, a really exciting thing, uh, which is totally like whatever. You know, mom's talking about their kids. He started walking! So I'm definitely going to add in a small clip of him super excited walking towards me. Uh, what a great sentence. Okay, so that I will put that in the end. So you'll have something to look forward to. Um, so, uh, that's the sweater. I, uh, don't have a name for that either, and, um, you know, I'm just taking my time with that. Uh, then, what am I working- oh, I started, uh, a pair of socks, just, yeah, 
super simple. Um, this yarn is from uh, Flying Tiger, um, which is, I believe, a Swedish. Oh. Uh, Denmark. Uh, it's a Danish, <laughs> Danish um, store with actually all kinds of stuff. You know, you can find. Um, you know, you have all these. Um, you know, notebooks, pens, stuff like that. Uh, you have stuff for uh, your bathroom. You actually have toys for kids. Um, you know, all these drawing materials. Um, kitchen supply things but you know all in the smaller accessory kind of category i don't know uh but in winter time they also have yarn and it looks like this and it's a bit you know it's not the greatest sock yarn or whatever but it's sock yarn and it's a little bit it's not it is soft but it's not nearly as soft as you know, my hand dyed yarn or other hand dyed yarn or whatever. Um, but it works fine and it's actually super cheap, like two euros a ball, uh, which is nothing. And um, yeah, I, I thought it was actually, it knit up pretty, <coughs> pretty, you know, pretty nice. <coughs> okay, my voice is totally. <clears throat> going away. Um, so I've knit one sock and the second one <clears throat> I just turned the heel um, as you can see. Um, so I have to knit the foot and then uh, I'll be done. Um, yeah. I'm knitting them on two and a half mil, mil needles, uh, which is actually my go-to size for socks. Then, and that will be my last project, I'm knitting socks for one of my best friends whose birthday is actually um, in uh, December, but since her birthday is together with my boyfriend's birthday, we never really get to super celebrate it or even celebrate both birthdays. Um, <clears throat> and for some reason, I don't really know why, but it's a great idea. Her boyfriend's birthday already was in July, I think. And this weekend, they're celebrating their birthdays together. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I had to knit something. Um, and now I've lost my ball. Um, I'm totally going to get that one second. Oh, it's here. Um, good that I don't have any cleavage today. Um, <laughs> So I'm knitting her socks um, in a colorway that I dyed up for her, um, which is this, uh, and I really like it. Um, so it's white with a lot of pink and uh, orange speckles and a bit of yellow in it and black speckles. Uh, it's totally not coming out the way. It looks over here, uh, but hey, that's what you get when you don't turn on your lights. Um, this is the ball. Focus. Hello. Yes. Uh, or the cake, which is a mess as well, as you can see. Uh, and I finished the first sock, actually. Um, so I already cut the thread and I only have to do the kitchener stitch to finish off this one and then I'll next, uh, knit 
the next one, so I actually have to hurry because, uh, well, the party is tomorrow. Um, but as soon as I stop talking to you, I'm uh, coaching at that. Um, so that's actually a lot of what I wanted to say in, hmm, in a pretty reasonable amount of time. Um, did I talk about that? Yes, 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 yes. And then I have something really nice. I want to start a knit along. And it's going to be an ornament along because I thought we might as well start early. Like it's still September. If we start knitting our ornaments right now, we will have a, the best Christmas tree ever. And um, you might think, uh, okay, it's September. Why are you thinking about Christmas already? Well, um, in the Netherlands, where I live, it has been raining, it has been cold, um, it has nothing to do with summer anymore. Um, so I was actually kind of feeling like, hey, I kind of need the holidays, you know, the, 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 I, I kind of need Christmas to come. Um, uh, first we have Sinterklaas, but <laughs> you don't, you don't know what that is. I, I think I told you like last year, try to find my video last year. I don't, I don't know, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you right now because it's, you know, I, I don't have a lot of battery still, so I have to. <laughs> To kind of work my way through this. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yes, so I kind of had the Christmas ID spirit thing going and then um, I binged watched a, hum a homespun house's Christmas vlogging thing of last year and I absolutely loved it. So uh, I was knitting away and just binge watching that uh, and since they were pretty long episodes, um, it lasted quite a while and then it was gone. Or at least uh, it was Christmas Day and, you know, it was done. I was, you know, I saw all the episodes. And then I felt like, you know. Um, so, I was thinking... How could I keep that, you know, that really nice spirit alive to host a ornament along? That was the idea. So, um, I actually already, um, you know, checked Ravelry for all kinds of ornaments and there is so much. And I liked a lot of them. I put them on my, you know, you can heart them. Um, so you can actually, if you go to my Revelry account, uh, which is Woolbox, right? Yes. Um, W-O-L-B-O-X, you and you, I think you could see my likes, right? You will find a lot of ornament, uh, patterns. So... Uh, I've done my homework and I've already did some or some uh, one um, which I didn't bring but I'm going to get it right now because it would be a pity to talk about it and not show it so one second hello <laughs> I knit a bird of happiness hello Um, which is actually pretty vibrant mustard yellow. Um, it's from my Hay colorway, um, Sazu Yarns Hay colorway. Um, but all of the colors don't come out as bright as they are today, so I can't help that. Um, but um, I already knit one and I'm planning on knitting uh, other ones, I saw these really cute gnomes with a wine cork in them, I guess. 
and they were so cute. So I totally have to make one of those. Um, yeah. So the idea of the knit along is I will open a thread in the Zazu podcast group and you can, whenever you finish a ornament, an ornament, come on, um, you can post one photo of the ornament in that thread. And I will also open a cheddar thread to, you know, help each other find really nice patterns and, you know, inspire one another. Um, <clears throat> and I will, you know, that the other thread will be the finished objects thread and you post once, um, once for every finished thing. Um, and then by the end of the knit along, and I'm not sure when I will set the, the date, um, <clears throat> there will be prizes. I will definitely uh, give away some minis um, from my own hand I yarn. Um, and I'm going to check what, what else I can uh, give away. Maybe there's some, someone else that wants to give away something small or whatever. <clears throat> then you can contact me. I would really appreciate it. And I don't know what's with my voice. <coughs> <laughs> okay, that sounded like a bird fish thing. <clears throat> okay, yes, I'm back. My voice is back. Um, not totally, though. <coughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. Maybe I'm poisoned. Um, okay, what was I saying? Oh, my God. You must be so... You know. Um... <laughs> yeah, so I'll open two threads. Come on, stick with me, Caroline. Two threads. One thread. Finished objects. Every finished object you can post there. The other thread. <laughs> okay, that was not my intention. <laughs> was not my intention to flip the finger. Okay, so two threads. <laughs> Oh my god, this is never going to be never going to be right. However, two threads, okay, one finished objects, second one chatter thread where everyone can share whatever they want and you know share as many pictures as you want. Um so I will open that, there will be prizes, and that's it. Uh and if you have uh nice patterns that I didn't like yet, um or you can't see my list of likes things, then uh, please let me know and then I will share all those uh, patterns with you or the names of the patterns or the links in the cheddar thread. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be really fun. Um, so that's actually it for today. Um, I'm going to make myself some nice lunch and um, knit on the sock for my friend. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Come here. Come here.